guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 39 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Care. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1. Hold on. In 3, 2, 1, go. Oh my. Oh yeah, no, because this is Song Girls episode. Yay! Oh, that's sweet. Mm -hmm. Hmm? This better work for my child today. Like, come on now. We need this. We need this. Mm -hmm. I still can't believe we're almost done with the show. Like, by next week. <laughs> oh my. Mm. That's not cool. Like, that's gonna make me cry. Because it just feels like just yesterday we just started this. It's the one thing that I hate watching a show that has so many episodes for a year. Because it's like, dang, you get really attached to the characters and the story and everything. It's kind of the same thing of how I'm feeling with that one, um, I think it's called Pretty Magic. Um... I believe, because I know it's something from, like, the Pretty Rhythm series, and my friend recommended it to me. I've been watching it on my own, even though I have <laughs> haven't watched it in weeks. But still, like, to get connected to characters, and then they're like, oh, hey, they're gone, and we're about to have new characters soon. Like, uh, no, that hurts. Oh, baby, you got this.
And it feels like you're getting left behind. It scares all of us, though, babe. Mm-hmm. You just liked it as a hobby. I get that. <laughs> yeah, I'm those doll like. Yeah, so you got this. <laughs> She looked, oh my god, all oh my babies look so pretty together. their hair down she just looks so much older and I like that oh. in a way that used to be you uh oh Perfect. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Oh, babe. Yeah, because in a way, Sango is the most OP. Mm-hmm. In a way, like seriously, you've all grown up so freaking fast and I'm so proud of you. be like that. <laughs> uh, really monitor. <laughs> even done with this show when I miss them. Oh my god. Yeah.
she's gonna see and then she's gonna leave. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want to be a makeup artist.
true, but it's what she wanted to do. The fact that it took her to realize what she wanted to do for the rest of her life while at an audition. I'm happy. So in a way now it's just Mirodin and Manatsu. I mean seriously, cuz we like once again, we already know what Laura wants. We already know. So Laura, you're you're on the side. It's just Mirodin and Manatsu. And we know Mirodin wants to do something with her novel and everything. So hopefully cuz I think you know what I mean? Her, her finale is supposed to be next week, I believe. So with Manatsu, well, no, because with Manatsu, we technically got it. So really, it is just, it's Mirodin. Mirodin's the only one. And I'm guessing hers has to be next week. So then the last, like, eight or nine episodes, taking out episode 40, so 41 to maybe 49 will just be them hanging out for the last few weeks and then you know then it'll be over and we'll be moving on to a new group of girls and then i'm gonna be like can we go back to last year with tropical root and with monsu and songo and laura and mirorin and Asuka and kunaru and like oh my god it's just it's so freaking weird to just freaking realize that we're almost done with the show not only that but we're almost done with this year this year just went too fast, and I hate that. Like, <laughs> this sucks! <laughs> huh. Yep, that's it. Can we go back on you doing? Oh my god! Like, seriously, they, I think with just these episodes, once again, they've been going in. They're just going in. They're going hard and they're going in. And it's just like, here, here's the little sprinkle finale for every single freaking girl. And then we're going to get to that last episode and I'm just going to be crying my butt off because it's just like, it, that's going to be it. And I hate the fact that that's going to be it. Because it's like, it, it feels like just freaking yesterday we started this. And now we're almost done. We only have like several weeks left. Even though this is going to end like mid-January. No, no. By the end of January. And January going on to February, this is when it ends. Because by, by the first, I think, first or second week of February um, is usually initially when the new... Um, Series starts because, like, plus, as of like, okay, it's still 11 40, um, 49, it's still Saturday my time, but by, by the time you guys all see this, it'll be Saturday morning. I mean, Saturday, Sunday morning. Um, the leaks for the new Pretty Cure series should be coming out as well uh, as of right now because, like, what I saw before, um, I started recording this episode and such was people saying it's a possibility that the leaks were going to come out tonight. So I, I'm, I'm really excited to just see what these girl, these new girls look like. Uh, number one, like who these say yous are going to be, because like I said, for me, um, casting wise, like this, once again, this cast is like freaking goaded. All of the, in a way, <laughs> I've said this once and I'll say it again. All of the cast, every single pretty cure, every mascot, and people who've maybe come in for like a side role for a couple episodes, this whole entire cast who's joined from beginning from 2004 up till now is freaking goaded. 
and anything else they've done either before uh, before Pretty Cure, after Pretty Cure, or even during Pretty Cure. And something where they've been known for a big behind goaded series and then they come into Pretty Cure and, you know, all these people who are strictly like me and maybe others who strictly probably just watch just regular old Magical Girl stuff. And you hear about them and other things, you're like, well, dang, maybe I should go watch this. Because it makes me wonder, like, how many, like, Pretty Cure fans are possibly JoJo fans? Because of the fact is, you know, Manatsu also voices Jolene. Um, freaking Cure Lemonade from uh, Yes, Pretty Cure 5 slash GoGo voices Foo Fighters. Um, the... Essentially, the villain to Cure Grace's um, illness from Healing Good slash Miss Ko- uh, Kobayashi from Miss Kobayashi's Maid Dragon plays um, Hermes in that series. And there's there's a lot of other people from just Pretty Cure in general who have who have been voiced and also in JoJo. And it's just so fun and cool to know that. So it makes you kind of wonder how many like freaking magical girl people who our fans of series like Pretty Cure and everything else are now officially watching JoJo, but <laughs> really, who knows? But this was a really interesting episode. For a finale for Songo, and even last week's finale for Asuka, like, God, these were both really freaking good, and I'm really hoping that next week, when it is Mirodin's time, she gets a good one, because it just... There, there are some episodes when you're looking at, like, each girl and seeing their story. Some of their episodes aren't really the best. But, I mean, seriously, once again, these finales for these girls are just, like, they're going and they're going good and I love it. And so I'm hoping that, like, Mirodin's is just as good, if not better, than these two. Because, like, these two, <laughs> they freaking knocked it out of the park. So who knows what the heck is going to happen next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 39 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Saturday, Sunday for episode 40. Bye, guys.